What is up Rebels, this is Hydra85 and today we are playing some Outlast. My frames may seem a little low but that's because the menu screen is the most graphically intensive part of the screen of the game. Um, I will be playing on Nightmare Mode because I have actually played this before and I, I, I don't like it. It's a scary game. Um, basically, I know where most of the jump scares are, I probably won't remember all of them. But on Nightmare Mode, there's a few differences to Normal Mode. From memory, you can only have two spare batteries as opposed to like for ten. And anything, apart from the regular enemies, will kill you in one hit. And there were a lot of times where I was just running in circles, being punched to death. Like, my frames actually seem pretty low, but this is the best I got. If you're linked by me on your laptop, it can be better. For those of you that haven't played this at all, I won't be spoiling any of the story. I will I will comment on things, hint maybe, but I won't spoil anything. It's mostly stuff you can figure out anyway. But yeah, I I did not. This is one of the only horror games besides Slendy Man that I have ever really been scared at. Like proper hiding in corners, pit stains, sweaties, got kind of scared. For some reason it seems really bright, but oh well. I'm sure most of you have actually heard of this game before, it's, it's relatively new. I won't be reading any of these because I, I don't like reading in games. If, if you want to read it, I'll, li I'll leave it up for like 5 seconds so you can pause it, but I won't bother reading them. I know the general story. This is your trusty camera. Yes, you're basically supposed to keep it on throughout the entire game. And if you see in the top right, I've got one of two spare batteries. And I'm used to having like eight, so like never running out of batteries. And you find loads of batteries at the start of the game, but past like level two or something, I never found any batteries. And obviously, I know where to go, so there won't be any random. And uh, that's one of the cool things about this game. You're like a parkour ninja. And I say I know where I'm meant to be going, but I mean, if, yeah. I never really explored the first area of the game. I just sort of ran around. I never noticed that guy in the window before. How did I not notice that? Anyway. Basic gist of the story, because I don't remember if it tells you, but this isn't any spoilers or anything. This guy has been given a tip as a reporter. He's supposed to be going into his place, trying to get a scoop or something. And it doesn't really tell you what the scoop is, so I don't know why you'd just go to some random place because someone told you to, especially if it's an insane asylum. That jump sound was actually really loud. In fact, this game is really loud right now. I'm kind of worried. I'm just going to turn it down a bit. Because I literally screamed at this game on normal mode. Uh, again, I know where most of the jump scares are, so I, I guess it is kind of cheating for a horror game. But even so, it's still scary. I'm going to be saving as much back. Oh yeah, I didn't even explain that mechanic. Basically, your camera is your only way of seeing in the dark besides two <laughs> Fuck, I forgot about that. Your camera is the only way of seeing in the dark besides cheating and turning the gamma up. And to use the night vision, you need those batteries that you see in the top right. I was trying to point to it with my mouse, but yeah. And there's a battery. So now I'm at the most batteries I can have, which is weird, because I was... Like I said, I'm used to having like eight. I will be trying to find as many of these as I can, but this is not a 100% run. I will put it up in case you want to read it. But I never found all of those when I first started this. Now in the demo, a bit, a bit of random trivia, in the demo you could actually go in that room. That door didn't get shut. I don't know if Nightmare Mode actually adds any like mobs or anything like that, so that should be interesting from memory. It's just for battery limit and um, the one shot kill. Now, like I've said, this game is very scary. See, at that point in real life, I would just say fuck that and go. Yeah, this game is incredibly scary. I'm just going to turn the sound down a bit because it still seems really loud. 
and for those of you that haven't played this, it's extremely scary. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that's yet, I knew that one was coming. I hope it did scare But that sounds really mean, but yeah. And now, this guy's gone a little kinky, a bit too kinky, and he's sort of um, gone a bit too far. The very Look, there's, there's a couple of severed heads there. That guy's got a beard. That guy's... Yeah, it's a very strange place. The main doors security hey, control. I never noticed that. Basically, if you have the camera up, you will record things and it gives you these little notes. I prefer reading the notes to like the proper... Um... Oh, what's it called? The documents that you pick up? But basically... That's, that's, that's the story. Now, that guy is not friendly. He is basically, you, d you didn't see him properly, but you'll see him in a minute. That guy is basically your main enemy in Little the game. Fake. And he is incredibly sexy, as you can see. Just look at those teeth, perfectly groomed. And I'll let you watch this cutscene, actually. Because this guy's a bit of a main character as well. There aren't many characters and in this game, I'll shut up. I... I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Yeah, I don't know if it ever tells you, but that guy's name is Father Martin. He'll... You see him a couple of times in the game. And the guy that threw us through the window, I wonder if it's still smashed actually. No, it's not. Or is it? Oh yeah, it is. Anyway, the guy that threw you through that window, um... You find out his name in the document, but I just looked it up online. He's called Chris Walker. This isn't a spoiler or anything. This yeah, he's called Chris Walker. He was like a security guard or something until he came here. And Frisbee Milton actually started playing this game before me. And we decided to call him Mr. Piggy, so that is his name for the rest of this room. All credit goes to Frisby. And that guy's just chilling. Now, this part of the game. This. I, I must have sat here for like five minutes debating whether or not it was worth going in here, but they they really don't care what you do. You can just stand in front of them. I never noticed that. That guy's no hands. How didn't I notice that? Yeah, you, you guy's been in here for like five minutes and his goal is already just to escape, pretty much. Now, I, I guess this is another point. I always thought something would happen as soon as you went to cloak that. At the start of the game, being grabbed. And this looks very fuzzy. I don't remember it being this fuzzy. Wait, there's no. There was a battery in there last time. Oh well. As you can see, I can actually remember quite a bit about this game, but the jump scares aren't really the scary. Well, they are the scary part, but they're not all the scary part. Like just the tension of being caught is also scary. It's really weird, not being when, you, when you know it's coming, it's just not that bad. Maybe I wouldn't scream as much in this one as I thought I would. For those of you who haven't played this game, though, this is this is probably terrifying you. So I'm sorry. I'm 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 hard as a cauliflower right now. Nothing is getting by me, except possibly Mr. Piggy. He he is still creepy. Now, although I said I know most of the stuff to do, it doesn't mean I always know where to go. Oh, okay. So it's a little bit of that, that they, they just... They, they make you, um, tingle a little inside. Now, I, I do like exploring, but... I found this game doesn't always reward you for exploring that much. Like, there's this room, and while properly coded and everything, like, there's physics on the light, there's nothing in here, really. And I know there's no document in here because I've looked at things, all the documents respawn on a new playthrough. 
Otherwise that one I picked up earlier wouldn't have been there. I wonder if I get anything for recording this. Oh, I do. Cool. Anyway, I, I was wondering actually, I wonder if you're supposed to play through the entire game with this camera up. I prefer playing with it down. It just looks more real instead of the whole fuzziness thing. Oh yeah, I remember actually. I assume you're meant to... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's kind of obvious. Push the button, and there's cameras there. I never really bothered looking at them. I won't drink that coffee. This is running Windows Vista. Needs some more RAM. Extremely slow. I assume I'm meant to be looking. Yeah, I am. And that guy's a douchebag. You can no longer see. Okay. And there's convenient lockers here for you to hide in. This is the other main mechanic of the game. If someone's chasing you, you can either try and outrun them and get to a point where they can't chase you really, or you can hide. Now there are quite a I'll just show you this guy here. Hey, I didn't know about nope. I should really just play through this entire game with the camera up. Yeah, the start of the game isn't really all that scary. Oh yeah, I, I will probably have to censor out because the, the guys in this game are literally naked. So I'll probably have to try and censor that out. My editing skills will be put to the test. That's something I forgot to mention. And I'll, I want to keep this... Even though it's an 18, I'm going to try and keep it PG. Thinking about it, I think he can actually kill me right now, so... Let's see how this goes. How do I get out? Oh yeah. Okay, he's gone. I don't know where he goes, but he's gone. And this is the point in the game where things actually start picking up. And because of that, I'm going to end it here. Um, like I said, this wasn't exactly the most scary part of the game. It's supposed to be like the intro, the first part. Just look at that walking. How, who walked backwards like that, honestly? Anyway. Um... It will get better. I will finish right here and hopefully restart right here. This has been Hydroid 5. I hope you enjoyed. More of this will be coming because this game is awesome. And I'll see you next time. See you later, Rebels.